So how is multiple myeloma diagnosed? The International Myeloma Working Group confirms diagnosis with both presence of malignant plasma cells in the bone marrow at greater or equal to 10% or presence of extramedullary or bony plasma cytoma confirmed with biopsy. One or more of the following events confirmed. Testing really does depend a little bit on the stage at which your disease is found. In general, we use a very specific blood test that lets us know that there is clonal protein present. Remember, plasma cells um, are a type of white blood cell and they make something called antibodies. We use a test called a serum protein electrophoresis, which is a blood test, an SPEP we call it, that can tell us the difference between normal healthy antibody and clone that are made from the plasma cells that we see in MGUS, smoldering, and multiple myeloma. Once we identify that there's a plasma cell disorder, then that can set in place uh, a workup depending on the amount of, of uh, clonal, monoclonal, and protein that we see. So sometimes that invo involves bone imaging. Historically, that was a skeletal survey where we took lots of x-rays of your body. Now we have other tests we use, uh, PET scans, CT scans, whole body MRIs. Um, sometimes it depends you know, where you're getting your treatment and also it depends a little bit on your doctor's degree of suspicion. So my myeloma was do diagnosed using a scan, an MRI was done of my spine and that's when my doctor saw the plasma cytoma in my spine. Um, further testing indicated that I had something called capillite chain myeloma. So uh, a lot of patients will have regular tests done, the blood work that may show anemia. I think if anybody has an indication of myeloma, further testing should be looked at. There's something called a light chain assay, a normal CBC, the metabolic panel. The light chain assay was critical in my case because all my protein levels were coming back normal. Some patients have an elevated level of protein in their blood. Mine was normal. So having all of the standard blood work plus having the light chain assay done and then really the gold standard for diagnosing myeloma, unfortunately, right now is a bone marrow biopsy. It's not fun, it's not horrible. So for patients who are who are anticipating that, um, you can get through it, it'll be okay. That is the gold standard for, for diagnosing the myeloma, the type of myeloma, and then any cytogenetics related to that myeloma that help guide the therapy that, will, that you might be getting going forward.